guys. Today's Nine Honey Kitchen hack is how to make the perfect scone, and I promise you it really is as easy as everyone says. The secret is to not touch the dough too much. The less you touch it, the better, so let's do it. The first trick to touching it less is to grate your butter instead of rubbing it into the flour. So once you've grated your butter, that means that you can mix it in without using your fingertips to rub it in like a lot of recipes say. But first up, a little pinch of salt. Give that a mix with a knife. This is important. It also helps you not to touch the dough too much. So give that a bit of a mix. And then pop your grated butter into the mix. Next is your little tablespoon of sugar. You don't have to put this in, but it does just give it that nice edge of sweetness. And now the wet ingredients go in. One egg, lightly beaten and about 120 to 150 mils of buttermilk. The acid in the buttermilk actually helps the self-raising flour activate and puff up. And once it's pretty well come together, all you need to do is turn it out and knead it very, very lightly. Brush the tops with a little bit of milk to add some gloss and colour if you like. Then pop them in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about 15 minutes or until the tops are nice and golden. And scones are always at their best on the day they're made, served warm with mountains of jam and cream. 